Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So oftentimes we talk about the stock market and if the stocks are going to go higher or stocks are going to go lower, if they're overpriced. But there's an area of investing that we don't talk enough about, and that's the bond market. And when interest rates are really low, AAA rated, AA rated, single A rated, and triple B rated uh, bonds are impacted the most by interest rate moves. When you get to double B and single B, those are impacted more by the balance sheet of the company that you're investing in. So when we look at how they are doing right now, I want you to take a look at this because many of the bonds have gone up in price because interest rates have dropped so much. And remember, interest rates have dropped because the economy is so weak. And if the economy is weak, the government lowers interest rates to stimulate the economy. And they shorten, uh, they do it on the short end of the discount rate and the Fed funds rate, but all other rates tend to go down with it. So when you're looking at interest rate sensitive bonds, the one thing that's gonna impact them is if interest rates rise. But more importantly, when interest rates have dropped, a lot of these have gone up in value and you have a lot of gains. So some of you might have a bond, for instance, that's priced at 110 and it matures at 100. And it might have a coupon of 5% and has three years to maturity. Well, when you hit calculate, that means that this point going forward, you're going to get 1.562% on that bond every single year until it matures. Now, if you were to go out another five years or five years, you'll see that you're going to get 2.827%. This is also true with municipal bonds. So you, you might have a bond that's selling at 117. And if you do, then you look at the yield to maturity and, and you're looking at 1.451. So for those of you who are bond investors, do a bond yield calculation and find out exactly what your yield to maturity is today because you can do a lot better than what a lot of these are paying you from this point forward. You want to lock in your gains before interest rates start to rise. I'm not saying they're going to, but they could. But more importantly, you don't want to just sit there and get 1.4% uh, when you think you're getting 5% on your money. Even though the coupon is going to be 5%, but the value, the current, the price is going to drop from 117 slowly down to 100. So your total yield to maturity is going to be far less than the 5% that you think you're getting. So if you need any help with this, give me a call at 972-865-2225. I'll be happy to take you through how this works. Thanks.